Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on pushing data from Excel to Microsoft Word content controls using Excel VBA. As always, if you find this video to be helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here an Excel workbook, and this workbook contains two worksheets. I'll be using this first worksheet, this data worksheet, and I have these 10 values in this survey variable. These are the data that I want to move from Excel over to Microsoft Word content controls. So this will be pushing the data from Excel to Microsoft Word using code stored in Excel. So let's take a look at the Word document that I'm going to be using here. It's named survey survey.docx and right now it just has 10 bullet points 1 through 10 and then A through J is the content stored in the content controls and here in the developer tab of the ribbon the field I used here actually for all 10 of these is this first selection rich text content control so if I were to go into one of these controls and delete the value you can see by default it has this click or tap here to enter text in gray. So I'll return this to A. So this is what the survey document looks like. And I'm going to close this down. And looking here at the data I have in the survey variable, I want those 10 content controls to store these data. 1,000 through 10,000. I want this to replace the A through J that's in there currently. So again, I'm pushing these data from Excel to the Word Content Controls using Excel VBA. So I'm going to move over to Excel Visual Basic Editor here. It's Alt F11. And you can see here I just have this one subroutine named Data to Word pushing the data from Excel to Word. Now before this subroutine will work, you want to go up to Tools and References and make sure that you have the Microsoft Word Object Library checked off, as I do here. So we have some variables we're going to declare here in the beginning. Dim Word App as Word Application, WDoc as Word Document, and R as an integer. Then I'm going to set Word App, the Word Application, to equal Create Object Word Application, Word dot Application. And notice this is in quotes. Then the next line of code, set W doc equals Word App dot Documents dot Open, and then this path here. So this is this workbook dot Path, and a forward slash. Notice that's in quotes. And this range, E1, and that contains the name survey. So this is the name of the Word document. So if I move back here to Excel, cell E1, survey. So this can be changed. You can change the value of range E1 for another Word document name. And then we have ampersand docx and again dot docx and again this is in quotation marks. Then we're going to set the word application as visible and then set r to equal 2. Then we have this for next loop here. So i is going to start at 1 and go to 10. So this is going to be for the 10 content controls on the word document. The R up here, by the way, is for the row. And the reason I'm using two instead of one for the value of R is because my variable has a name that's stored in this worksheet survey. So this uses the first row. So I'm going to start here at the second row. So in this loop, we have wdoc.contentcontrols I. So the first time this runs through, this will be one dot range dot text equals sheets data dot cells r2 which is 
the first time this runs. That's the first point in the survey variable. It's the first value. The second time this runs through, it'll be the second content control, and this will be three, so it'll be row three and column two, and I'll just keep moving through all of the cells on that worksheet. And then before we end this loop, r equals r plus one, so we iterate r by one, and it just keeps running until you reach 10. Then next i, and wordapp.documents.close, and word app quit. So it's going to close the document and quit out of the word application. So I have this commented code here, and I'll get back to this in just a moment. So first let's test the code we have that's designed to push data to Word. I go back to the worksheet, and I have this blue rectangle here. I'm just going to right click, assign macro, and select that subroutine, data to Word. Click OK. So now I can run this subroutine right from the worksheet. So I click this blue rectangle. It's going to open up Word, populate the values, and close Word. So that happened pretty fast. I'll go back and open that document back up so you can see it. This had A through J, and now it has 1,000 through 10,000. So it has the values that are stored here in this survey variable in column B. So taking a look at that code again, I'll show you what I did here with this comment. So very easily, you can also, instead of pushing the data from Excel to Word, you can pull the data to Excel from Word. And the only thing you would need in order to do that would be to comment out what I have here under the push and uncomment the code that pulls, which is the same line of code except the sheet's data is on the left and the wdoc.contentcontrols is on the right. So if you ran this subroutine now, you would have the values from the content controls being pasted into this survey variable. I hope you found this video on pushing data from Excel to Microsoft Word content controls to be helpful. Thanks for watching.